Ah, that was the fuck's your boy, Marcus on Tuesday. Five numbers after the name of Overcooked 2 action over here, man. They actually released some extra levels over here for Overcooked 2, man. A little DLC action, man. That's uh, it's uh, it pretty, pretty addressable. We'll see over here. This is, uh, man, what are we recording this? We're recording this October 10th. So think about what, what that DLC might actually be. It was some out of stage with some lily pad action. That was supposed to be easy. Either way, though, this is 2-6. This is the end of the twos. Uh, there's a nice little split uh, action going on over here with some twirly things. Uh, this one wasn't too, too bad. We kind of just got to figure out a little bit of a rhythm over here and kind of see how we wanted to play things out. But, you know, anytime that the recipes are still kind of like relatively on like the simple side and not needing a thousand things, it's easier. It's really funny to go back and watch some of these videos, man. I think I mentioned this before where... It, you um you need a clean plate i was like yo come on man give me some plates um where the recipes get so hard and so complicated that like it, it is just like even difficult to like kind of grasp now like all the stuff that you have to keep like balanced you're like all right, i need this and i need that and i need this and i need this and that and this and 13 other things so when you just see it, it's like all right so we're making burgers and we some of them need cheese on it got it which is pretty simple, but it can still be very hard because it's all about the timing and stuff. And I think that's kind of where Overcook 2 really found its magic. And it depends, once again, it depends how you play it. You could just play it for like one star and then it's just easier. I mean, like, that's like whatever. Like, you can do whatever you want. Like, and that to me also is a little bit of the magical fun part about Overcooked is it is open for anybody to play, really. It's up to you how you really want to play it. Um,. But, uh, but the fact that you can try to, like, four-star it up and put yourself in, like, that elite, like, kind of level and push everything to, like, the max. And, I mean, there's some stages that it's timed out. So, like, four stars is, like, you go perfect and that's it. By layman's person's terms, too. Because I always felt that way that, like, all right, like, in order to get four stars, we need to be perfect. Like, excellent execution. Like, nothing good. Like, we can't do anything better than this. Like, this is tops. Like, the score is, like, 2,000. And we, like, got 2005, like, just at the wire. And then you watch, like, some video online of some dude who gets, like, 4,000. You're like, what the hell? And I'll point it out when we get to the stage. But there was a stage that, like, we just weren't figuring fully out how to get through. And we were just stuck. And I was like, I don't know how we could crank more out. And I was like, you know what, let's start on the good old YouTubes and see what people are doing. And, yeah, I'll never forget being so humble before, man. I think the only, the only a couple of times when I was humble like that. Uh, one was back in uh, back in high school, back in high school, man, when the captain actually came. I thought it was the best Super Smash Bros. player ever on Earth, like Melee at the time for GameCube. And uh, dated myself. And uh, I, uh, not like dating myself romantically, I'm saying dating myself time-wise. Just to clarify that, I, I, I am dating another person. Either way, uh, I thought it was the best Smash Bros. Melee player ever on Earth. I thought like I was sent by the gods and chosen that like I was going to be like amazing. And the captain came over, like, one day and just, like, mopped the floor with me to, like, the oomph degree. And I, I still to this day don't fully exactly know, like, what happened. That's how shook I was by the whole situation. Um, so that was kind of one of the reality checks I got. I also got one, I think, a little bit in college when I thought I was, like, the best FIFA player ever on Earth. I was like, yeah, like, FIFA me, like, pfft, like no chance. Actually, I got another one, too. Uh, and I played this guy, and he, like, ended up beating me, like, 6-2 in a game. And I was like, Damn! <laughs> Uh, now, the good thing about that one is I did turn around and end up kicking his ass. Actually, the captain, I turned around too, but that's just old age, though, at that point. That's, that, that changed. Uh, I did play, though, my man Hoopa, though, I remember in 2K. This was back in the day when I thought I was like a 2K god. I mean, like 2K10 or something like that. I thought I was pretty damn good, and then he kind of just annihilated me. And at that point, I realized that there's like two different ways of playing 2K, and one of them's the way I play 2K, and one of them's the way that the rest of the world plays 2K. And I was like, oh, I was like, you know how to set screens and stuff. Oh, I right, yeah, I don't, I don't got all that. Um, so anyway, I digress. 2-6 over here in the bag with the achievement. Y'all already know how we be doing. 